Hey, how's it going, you guys? It's Pat Platypus here. Time to review a disgusting episode of Hunter x Hunter, episode 47. I knew I should... I'm recording this on the same day as the last one, but I knew I should separate these two, because this fucking fight... Oh. My. Fucking God. This was ridiculous. Okay, so... The entire episode is the fight, so no summary. I'm just going to talk about some of my favorite moments in the fight and Kurapika's ridiculous powers and just a few other things here and there. So, we have the fight, and it's pretty much a one-sided massacre. On, to be, I'm going to be totally honest with you right now, the fight is decent. Like, the fight itself is okay at best. I'm not, I'm being completely serious. Like, I thought Hisoka versus Gon at Heaven's Arena was better. It was a decent fight. But Kurapika is just so hacks and broken. It's like, what the fuck? Like, you've got them fighting. He lands a solid, uh, Uvojin lands a solid punch, and Kurapika's arm is fine. And then Kurapika's just punking him, beating the crap out of him. Well, not hurting him too bad, but kind of hitting him around and everything. And then you've got Uvojin goes for another really strong punch. He does a full powered. Uh, Big Bang Fist, which was really disappointing because it was nowhere near as hyped as the other one. But whatever, he lands one, it completely breaks Kurapika's arm, it's all swollen and shit. He chains him up, and this is pretty much when the fight's basically over. Chains him up, reveals his red eyes, and then he says, When I have my red eyes activated, I'm a specialist who has full control over all types of Nen. That is broken. Like, I really, I didn't know how to feel about that when I first saw it. I was kind of like, okay, that's too fucking overpowered. Like, later in the series, like, way down the road, maybe. But, like, you're that fucking overpowered. Like, are you full control? Like, that's a little ridiculous. I wasn't sure how to feel about it. But it is very cool. It is ridiculous. It's very surprising as well. And he heals his arm, like, instantly with enhancing ability. Then he fucking... Um, has him chained up. He's beating the shit out of him, telling him, where are the other spiders? Where are the other spiders? And he just won't tell him. So then he, not only is he already blocking him with Zetsu, forcing him to use Zetsu so he can't use his aura, but then he attaches one of the little condition chains to his heart. And the condition chain it is explained that a Nen user can become a lot stronger if they follow a certain rule, but if they break it, they can lose their Nen or even die. And Kurapika places his life on it, so obviously his Nen is going to be extremely powerful. Kind of weird, but I'll take it. it it's, you know, kind of weird, but I'll, I'll take that uh, rule condition thing. But he forces this rule on someone else, and I'm like, oh my god, like, this is so hacks and overpowered. And he's a badass, he's just like, yeah, whatever, die, fool. And then he dies. And we got one Phantom Troop member down, he was my favorite, so that kind of sucks, but, you know. It's whatever. Um, he was cool while he lasted. I liked his character, but he's gone. He dies, and Kurapika finally, at the end of the fight, he says, okay, I stayed in that state too long, and he's kind of exhausted. So, being exhausted after using it, and staying in it too long, so there's a time limit, and the fact that he said he'd only do it to Phantom Troop members are the only limitations for making him just ridiculously fucking like godly powerful, I swear. I'm sure there's stronger people down the road. I'm sure there's like what the fuck people. I'm still banking on fucking Netero being just disgustingly strong. Cause he's an old guy in anime. Or, or manga. But yeah, the fight was decent. It was an okay fight overall. Kurapika's abilities are ridiculously powerful, but it was very surprising and definitely very interesting. Uh, and his revenge has started. Uh, the animation was actually very good. Uh, even very subtle things had really nice animation. Um, almost creepy, to be honest, when, like, you put a lot of animation into one subtle movement. It looks almost creepy, but... Yeah, it was good. And then, um... We see the Phantom Troop, they're meeting up, and the leader's basically like, if he doesn't show up by the morning, we have a change of plans. And Hisoka's there, and Hisoka and Kurapika are obviously working together. Hisoka wants to fight the boss, but he can't fight the boss, obviously, right yet. But we'll see where things go. I hope Kurapika doesn't fight every single one of them. I feel like Gon and Killua might be capable of taking on some of the weaker ones at this point. 
Uh, especially if they, you know, can unlock some, you know, the, the Nen is crazy. I wouldn't even be surprised if they can unlock some kind of power up. But anyway, um, but it would be nice to see the other characters. Like obviously, Leorio can't fight them. He's not strong enough. Uh, but it would nice. It'd be nice to see Killua get a fight. Gon to get a fight. But we'll see. They'll obviously play a part later. The fight, like I said, decent. Great animation. Um, ridiculous. Kurpik is ridiculously overpowered as of right now, but at least there are limitations. Only being able to do it to Phantom Troop members and being exhausted after using the power of the eyes and everything. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to give this episode like a 9.5 out of 10. It was really, really good. Um, like I said, if the fight had been better, I would have given a 10 out of 10. Uh, but as it stands, it was just a decent fight. So, I'm going to thank you guys for watching this video. Tell me what you guys thought of the episode down below. And, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.